Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Barillo and I am a graduate student in the Instructional Technology Program at Duquesne University. Today we are going to explore Wix, which is a free website generator. Personally, I love using Wix because of the many features it has when editing a page and I believe it's very easy to use. So I'm going to go to the Wix website and it's at www.wix.com. So you want to go to your account, and if you don't have an account, you can just log out and create one. It's just using your email and your name, basically. Yeah. Uh, once in your account, as you can see, I already created some Wix pages before. So I will take you to my portfolio as an example. As you can see, this is my home page, and I chose an octopus as the background. Just thought it kind of looked cool. Here you can see the different standards and each file that goes along with the standard. Um, for example, I attached files to my portfolio so I can easily open a Word document. And as you can see, this is a lesson plan I created before. So we're just going to go back to the main page and click on templates. One thing about Wix is there's many different templates you can choose from whether you're blogging or you have a business. So for now we're going to stick to education and we're going to choose this one. So as you can see this is the main editing page. Up here you can um, set rulers and grids you can copy and paste, undo, redo. It is always important to keep hitting save on Wix because it does not save your work automatically. This is important to remember. So as a rule of thumb, around every five minutes, I just like to click the save button. So over here is your sidebar. And we can go into pages. And as you can see, there are different pages in the, web, the Wix website. So for now, we're just going to stick to one page, so I'm going to delete these other pages. So here on our home page, you can see we don't really want any of this. So we can simply just click on the web page, so just double click, and you'll see this trash can, and this will basically delete everything. Once again, we can click and delete. We can change the title up here to Wix 101. I want to add some more text so I can just go to add text title double click we can say how to use make that an exclamation point. I also will change the font, drag it up here next to this dot, make the box small. So I'm also going to add an image. We can either add an image without a frame, with a frame, add a simple image, we'll add clip art, here there are different options you can choose. You can rotate the image. You can change the clip art by clicking on this button. So we'll use this koala. Wait for the koala to change. And you can move the photo around. Oops. And add some more text. And now we have a basic page with a photo and a little description. How cute is the koala? So I'm going to save my work because it's been about five minutes. 
and now it is asking me to name my site. So we'll just call this Wix 101. I'm going to publish it. Hit OK. And I can go back to my home page. And view the site. So I hope you found this easy to use, and I feel that any teacher can incorporate this into their classroom, such as making a classroom website or even making a portfolio, as which I did. So hopefully you check this website out. Okay, thank you.